what's going on y'all today in this video we're gonna go over a, a few things on bitmex i was getting a lot of uh bitmex questions i had a video on this before but for some reason youtube said that it abused the uh, community terms i don't know whatever i'm gonna make it again uh 2020 version so let's get right into it man um so uh the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh entering positions um so if you're entering a for example a breakout entry the way we enter breakout entries is we use a stop market orders or you can use a stop limit order all right so you can see them right here you have your limit order you have your market order you got your stop market stop limit trailing stop take profit limit take profit mark market all right so um when i'm setting up an entry if it's a breakout entry i usually like to if i'm at the computer and i'm going to be around then i will use a stop limit order because i can watch it i'm i'm gonna be here you know what i mean so if it doesn't trigger if it doesn't when it triggers if it doesn't go off then i will um you know update the order at a new price um if i'm not going to be around the computer then i'm using a stop market order because um the thing with the limit order if the price moves too fast and it moves right past where your uh where your limit order is after it triggers you're not gonna you know it's not gonna fulfill um it, the order won't execute so that's why you want to use market or stop market orders in that situation where you're not around um so for example if i want to set a stop market order above 12,000, the way that i'm gonna set it up is i'm gonna hit stop market whatever amount of contracts you want to do here then you're going to change the price here to 12 you know 10 or something i don't know some random number you'll see that this goes off so you can't click this anymore because this is you could only do along with this all right uh make sure this right here is not checked because if that's checked then this is a uh, order just to close the um you know the triggers only to close it will not it'll cancel you know if it's on and you don't have a position um here you can this is what's going to trigger your stop um so you could do either last price the mark price or the index price i usually leave it last um if you're doing a market order you might want to do mark um but if you're doing limit then definitely last um so i i have it on last then the next thing is your leverage um i always recommend no more than 10x leverage i think i believe anything above 10x you're more on the grounds of gambling versus you know really trading um with because the next thing up is 25x now that could you know get you liquidated very very easily um with 10 with 10x i feel very comfortable uh this is what i've always traded with if you're new i don't whatever i say here if you're new i recommend splitting that in half so if you're new i don't i don't recommend going past 5x all right so i'm gonna do 10x um like I said, my whatever amount of contracts you want, you set your stop price, you set it, the order, this is gonna come up. This is basically just telling you, you know, the position is going to be opened in isolated margin mode. Isolated margin will use your selected margin preference, which is 10X. Uh, this will limit your loss. Watch your liquidation price carefully. So um, here, this is gonna show your order value, the cost uh, at 10X, um, and your available balance um, position size after execution so we're, we only put one one contract there um, the mark price where it's currently at your estimated liquidation price so check this out if right now our liquidation price is 10,864 which is an eight percent drop all right so if we go up to 25 X let's see what how that changes that price Look at, the, look at the liquidation price now. Now estimated liquidation is 11,493. Let's take it a step further, go 50X. Look at that liquidation price, 11,719. And of course, if you 
go 100x which is I recommend just going to the, the your local casino at that point and betting it all on red or black um, your liquidation price is 11,836 and the price is currently at you know 11,869 that's only 0.28% drop away so you're gonna get liquidated most of the time do not mess with those numbers I'm telling you guys years and years of experience doing this do not mess with those don't go beyond 10x do not get greedy greedy is what kills your bankrolls um, so 10x is what we're doing we see our liquidation price is a thousand dollars under either way it will never reach that because we're gonna have uh, stop losses set we hit buy Boom, that contract is set up. You can see here on this. Let me see, can I make this bigger? Hold on. Um, trying to see what I could take off so I could make this chart bigger. Here we go. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, you could actually move all this stuff around. Um, so you see you see our orders right here. It's gonna trigger right right at that line. Uh, now if I want to set a stop loss I can't set the stop loss on this order because it has to fulfill before I can set a stop loss um, so when you're doing uh, prices in the future that are that's not there yet you can't set stop losses on it um, now if you're doing a entry this is a different type of entry where your you know the price where you want to enter is lower than the current price for example right now the price is eleven thousand nine hundred and twelve um the price i would like to enter if we look at this chart i would say all right let me see this looks like a decent support area right here right um 11845 so i'll put here 11845 and guys do not take this trade this I'm just giving you guys an example um, so you see how now it doesn't let me set a stop market order on that yeah you can't do it because what you, the way that you enter a support entry when the price is currently higher than where you want to enter it's a, you have to do a limit or a market order well no you can't do a market order. I'm sorry yeah just a limit order so limit we said eight 45 everything's good 10x leverage always make sure that there's the trigger is not checked here and that you only have 10x leverage double check it triple check it trust me I've seen a lot of people make mistakes and blow their entire account by clicking the wrong thing um, you can look here at our position mark price this is estimated liquidation will be 10,000 under where we're gonna be entering so we don't have to worry about that hit buy boom our order is there now if we look at our active orders we have an order at 11,845 so that would be the support entry if the price goes down to that um, to th here where it's gonna go off unless it drops really fast and it won't fill um, it'll fill at a different price so as long as it goes under it's, it's gonna fill um, and then our stop order is right here. So this is our breakout entry. Breakout entries always have to be stop market or stop limit orders. All right. Now, um, that stop market that's entering a position. Now the way to close out positions, let's just enter a position right now. I'm going to just mark it by so it could just enter me into whatever position. All right. So I just did a market buy. <clears throat> so I have one contract um, entry price is 11,912 you have your mark price right here this is the price that the mark price is currently at for some reason it's way down here um, but the last price is 11,912 um, liquidation price is again a thousand dollars under our entry so we're comfortable with that we don't ever have to worry about liquidation because we're going to be using stops um, so for example if we want to say um, if it goes under 11,900 we want to sell right so the way you set that up is you go back over here to the stop now you could do it you can set it up as a stop limit or stop market like I told you guys 
Um, so we're just going to do stop market for now. Um, we're going to say that we want to sell at 11899 because we don't want we don't want to hold under that. Right. So we're going to set it's a stop market. We're going to hit here. We're going to hit close on trigger this time. Um, this doesn't I'm not I don't think it really matters. Uh, hit close. I mean, hit set, sell, stop. So remember, you're going to sell to close your position to open your position. If you're going long, you're going to buy sell to, to close. If you're going to short it, then sell basically is going to give you a short position and buy it will close your position. Um, so as you can see here, this is a close. We're going to close the position here. We're going to hit it. Boom. Now that's another stop order that we have set here and it's at 11.899. All right. So now let's say uh, we don't want to sell. Um, well, the, the other thing that I, that I'll say is uh, take profits. So if we're taking profits, we're in this position right now. We want to set up some stops to take profit, right? So let's say our first um, target is $11,950. So 11,950, you could either do a stop market or stop limit. Uh, you could also do take profit limit, take profit market. Um, we're going to do for now, uh, take profit market. Um, and we're going to set this price at 950. We're going to take the one contract at that price, right? So you just hit close on trigger one and you sell boom you have now you have three stops set up right now let's say that you have multiple targets right you have for example the way i trade i like to have um three targets usually um and then i'll show you wh what it is that i do so let's let's buy three more contracts here i'm gonna just mark it by again all right so now we're up to four contracts now we have three different um targets right so our let me just set it to market it's just easier our um targets are going to be 950 which i already have set up to take profit there 950 we're going to say it's 975 and 12,000 right so i'm going to just do the same thing i just did 975 we're going to sell one more contract right so now we're taking let's hit close on trigger remember always check that boom sell all right so we have the different cells now um, we have 950 975 we still have even if we hit both those uh, targets we're still gonna have one more contract because currently we have four contracts right so we're gonna do one more at 12,000 remember that was our third um, 12,000 that was our third target we're gonna make sure close on triggers on take profit we're gonna sell one more contract boom all right so we have it set up to take profit three times 950 975 12,000 now what's gonna happen we're gonna have one more contract even if we hit all those all three of those contracts right all three of those uh, targets so what I like to do is I like to split it up into four always I take 25% profit at each target right and then the last contract is the one that I let just is, is what I call a runner and I let it run for as long as possible. If I see that it stops dropping back down, then I'll close it. If I see that it keeps going up, then I'm gonna just let it run and you can trail it with a, with a trail stop or whatever it is you want to do. Um, if you want to do it with a trail stop, let's say we're, we've sold, we've hit all three targets. We've sold everything. We have one contract left. It's at 12,200. Um, and we want to make sure that we're trailing it right in case the price starts to drop again. So what I'm going to do is add, put a value to this. Um, the trail value is going to be how far below the price it's going to trail, right? So let's say I want to trail it by a hundred dollars. 
um, then I'm gonna do that right there. Boom, a hundred dollars on trailing stop. It's not letting me hit a sell. I think it's because trigger twelve thousand. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see why it's not letting me trail it. So it looks like 12,008 would be the trigger for the trail stop. I don't know guys. Um, the way I do it either way is manually. I, I never really use that. I use stop limits, stop markets, and I just trail it man manually. You slowly move up as the price goes up. So if, when it passes 12,000, I'll move it up uh, under 12,000. You know, uh, once it gets to 12,100, I'll move it. You know, just under 12,100. Gets to 12,200. You know, I'll move it up a little bit more, and I just keep moving it up little by little, trailing it basically um, until until it comes back down and I take profits, and that's it. Um, I think that's basically it. We covered. Um, limit orders we covered market orders we covered uh stop market stop limits take profits um and that's basically it guys uh we're 16 minutes in hopefully i was able to answer most of your questions i know you guys had a lot of questions about this uh, a lot of people asked me on you know making a video about this so um if you have any other questions leave it down in the comments I'll be more than happy to uh, answer them if I can, if I have the response. If not, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Um, and that's basically it, man. There's not much to it. What I always suggest, do not get greedy. Do not get greedy. That is the number one reason um, new traders are not profitable because they're greedy. They see the money and instead of taking profits, they just leave it in and they don't use stop losses. You lose all your profits, you lose your bankroll, and you stop trading. <laughs> That's what happens to 90% of traders. Don't be part of the 90, be part of the 10%. Peace out, guys.